All right, guys, so um, we're gonna practice a sweep from the guard. Now, we've ended up in the guard because we've fallen onto our back. A bad situation happened, but we were able to pull him into our guard, right? Closed guard. So, really, it's important, especially on the street here, like, we, we want to focus on a couple of things. Number one, like, in MMA and in Jiu-Jitsu, we're not really worried about um, getting struck in the groin, right? But on the street, he's definitely gonna want to go for the balls, right? Yep. No whatever, right? Can't say that word on YouTube, but so we want to pull him down into us, most importantly, and get a lock on him. I like the Superman grip because it's applicable with MMA gloves, and we just hold him like this for a minute. We get our composure, and fuck, woof, panic breath, right? And then we're gonna let him slightly kind of come up. We're gonna release our grip. He's gonna want to posture up more than likely and start raining down blows on him, right? So we need to be uh, cognizant of the fact that he's gonna try to rain down blows, so we need to move fast. But to slow it down real quick, we're gonna wanna come here. I like to cross face a little bit, and we're gonna wanna open our guard, all right? Then we're gonna wanna shimmy shimmy a little bit. I like to get on my left hip in this case and place a knee in his sternum, all right? From here, we're going to chop out his leg with this foot as we push on him with this foot. We also want to be cognizant of the fact that this arm is going to want to post, right? So if I just do this, he posts, and he comes right back and starts assaulting me. We don't want that. So we want to gather up his arm if we can. I like to get an elbow grip. If he's got this nice hoodie or a gi on or whatever, you know, you can cut get here and get some kind of a grip or maybe even something like this. But we want to make sure that he's not able to post. After we're able to do that and make sure he's not posting up, we want to pull him in a little bit and push him right over like that with the sweep. Now, once we do get the sweep, I like to keep my forearm on the throat for a second, shimmy up a little bit. So it makes it a lot harder for him to reverse me. And if, again, if we're on the street, bam, 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 elbows, you know, maybe we even take it all the way if he's a terrorist, eyes, whatever, right? Or we take out our knife and whatever. But you know, for our context here, not like fighting in a war, we would probably give him a few, make sure he's out, and then we can uh, get up Again, when we get up, we don't want to step like this, right? Because Brian's going to put me in half guard, right? So instead of doing that, we always want to kind of like flip her like a seal over. Now we can, can transition to knee on belly. Give him another one. And if we need to, again, we check our six, make sure his bodies aren't going to sink up behind me. And then if we want to get up and get away, we can break off contact and do so. But that's the basic um, scissor sweep. I think that's a scissor sweep. And um, we're gonna train that. So I'm gonna break it down for all of you guys, but you guys in YouTube land, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, concerns? Um, hey, I'm a blue belt. You black belts can let me know what I did wrong in the comments. But I appreciate you guys. <laughs>